everybody. My name is Judith Taby and welcome back if you're returning and welcome if you're new. This is spiritual story time and we're doing the soul's journey lesson cards. If you've not seen the first video, I will have it at the end of this video for you to click on to get you there because that has the intro and the story time of this series of videos. So let's see what spirit has as our lesson for today. I have one card, what is the lesson for today? Relationships. Let's look at the mandala. So this is the Flower of Life mandala. And if you look at it, it is a complex pattern featuring dozens of circles arranged in an overlapping design. Uh, many people find that the areas where the circles overlap, overlap resembles the petals of a flower. And so it earned the name, the flower of life. It was commonly used across the Mesopotamian and Northern Africa in pre-Christian time, in Northern Africa in pre-Christian times, with some of the most famous examples showing up on Egyptian temples of Osiris. Relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher, higher good. In this three-dimensional world in which we live, there is a sense that we are separate from one another and also that we meet by chance. This is an illusion. The people in our lives are drawn to us and are here for a reason. It is through sharing experiences and having relationships with others that we begin to understand ourselves. When someone appears in your life, you must see what is not resolved or whole in the person and understand the lessons he or she brings home to you. You draw others to you like magnets in order to learn various aspects of yourself. These people you have close relationships with on earth are usually members of your soul family. You have chosen to incarnate together to help each other learn lessons, even though it may not seem that way to you now. Once a lesson is learned, don't be surprised if that person fades away. People are in your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. Love and light.